Hello. So I want to show you guys a really cool trick to turn low poly vanilla items into high poly and then smooth them out. Now, if you have ever tried to turn a vanilla item into high poly, you will know what I'm talking about. Uh, but if you haven't, I will demonstrate it. It looks terrible. So first, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into render mode because this is just too dark and we're not going to be able to really see the uh, deformities, so to speak. So I'm going to go up in here to render mode. And then I have some lights set up that I'm going to turn on. So now we can see this a lot better. So normally what I would do to convert an item into high poly is I would, of course, tab into edit mode. I'm going to hit A for everything. And then I would press Control F for the face menu and I would select tries to quads. Next, I would press Control E and I would select subdivide. And just for the purpose of demonstration, I'm gonna crank this way up to like six. Um, normal, I mean, this is way overkill. Normally I would probably leave it about here at three, but just just to demonstrate how bad this looks, uh, we'll, we'll crank it up. So now if I tab out of edit mode, you will see that this looks absolutely horrible and Turning it into high poly just accentuates the the poor topology that it, it used to have. Um, but we can fix this. And so that's what I want to show you. And it's actually quite easy. So I'm going to hit Control Z a couple times here and get back to the original state of things. And get back into object mode. Now what I'm going to do is while I'm in object mode, I am going to press shift D to duplicate this item. And then I'm just going to immediately right click to let go of it. Let's expand this here so you can see. So now I have a, I have a duplicate of my mesh, which, which I'm going to just hide right there. And now I am going to repeat the process of turning this into high poly. So tab into edit mode, A for everything, control F for faces, tries to quads, control E for edges, subdivide, and again we'll crank this way higher than it needs to be, up to six, and then if I get back out of edit mode, again you can see this still looks terrible, but what we're going to do this time is we're going to add a modifier. So I will click the blue wrench here, go up to add modifier, and I'm going to add the data transfer modifier. Now I am going to set the source as that duplicate that I made. So there we go. Next I want to click on face corner data, then I will expand that menu, and I will click on custom normals, and then I'm going to change the mapping to nearest face interpolated. And look at that. Now we have a very high poly item that looks absolutely beautiful. And so this is, you know, for example, like what would you do with this? Well, one thing, if you're using uh, CK's cross-gen porting tool to change bodies, this will help with just the original shape key morph, uh, but it will also help you a lot with the corrective smooth modifier, and you'll be able to crank that up a lot higher and get a lot better shape out of your, your transformation. But also, if you're just fixing clipping by hand, this is going to give you way more vertices to play with and will allow you to be a lot more accurate. And I have some sort of demonstrations set up here. So I will uh, disable this and I will first show you the bad. So we'll turn that on and then we'll turn on some legs so you can see this. So this is just the, the vanilla item with me fixing it uh, or fixing the clipping by hand. So 
yeah, you can see it's it's not great. But now if I show you the good, which I used the transformation on, look at that. It hugs the shape very, very nicely and looks a million times better. So those are just a couple uses and it's a really nice trick. A lot I know a lot of people, including myself, like to use vanilla items and not just modded items. Uh, so this is a really good way to um, ease the transfer from vanilla to a, a newer gen body. So I hope that this was helpful and uh, you can have a little fun changing your outfits.